What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create a wet fire protection system. Okay, so last video, we have learned how to place our sprinklers, hosted sprinklers, and then non-hosted sprinklers. So this time, we're going to create a wet fire protection system. So these sprinklers that I have placed in these uh, three spaces here are hosted family and if i'm going to click one of the sprinkler and then after that i'm going to check the family here so edit family so i can see that i have here a connector right so that connector so if i click that connector and then check the properties here so i can see that that particular connection the system classification is fire protection wet Okay, so that's why the fire protection system that I'll be able to create from this sprinkler is fire protection wet. So that is the system that we are going to create, okay? And also, I have opened here the system browser. So if you don't know, you, you can just uh, right-click on the blank space, and then after that, look for browsers, system browser, or you can also press F9. Apparently, it's not working anymore or there's something wrong on my keyboard. Before, the default function key of System Browser is F9. Anyway, so I'll just right-click and then Browser, System Browser. Okay, you see? Okay. So, as you can see here, I have 23 items on the unassigned folder, right? So... These are the sprinklers that I have placed last time that is still on the unassigned folder. So that's why if I click one of the sprinkler, you can see that it highlights here. Okay, it highlights the unassigned folder. So I click outside again. So how about the sprinkler here, the non-hosted sprinkler? So if I click that one, it's still that one is in the unassigned folder. Okay, so I click this one, so it's unassigned folder. So if you expand that one, expand the folder you can see on the piping so i have that uh fire protection wet okay so if i click this one you see it tells me where is that particular sprinkler right so they so basically they are all on the unassigned folder so that's why we're going to create a system for that to be able to place to a system here on our piping system Okay, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'll just select all of this. Actually, you can do it like one by one, but instead of doing that, so let's, let us just select all of the sprinklers. And then as you can see, it highlights here. Okay, so select all the sprinklers and then I have here nine sprinklers selected. You see there's a filter there. So it, it tells me that I have selected nine elements or here as well. So I have nine sprinklers selected. So here on the create systems panel, so there is a piping here wherein you can create a system. So let's click this one. And then after that, you see the system type is fire protection wet. Okay, so that's the system that we'll be creating. And then we can specify the name here. Okay, so let's say, for example, I'm going to call that uh, name here for example this part here is my zone 2 so i'm going to change the name so i'll type here f f p wet under underscore zone 2 okay so that's the name of my system so i'll select here okay <clears throat> so as you can see here those sprinklers those nine sprinklers that is inside the unassigned folder before has now been moved here on our piping system folder so if i expand that one you can see that there's now my fire protection wet system and then that's the system that i have created the fp wet zone 2 and then these are the sprinklers on that particular system okay and then as you can see, while the system is still selected, so from the properties, you can also see here the number of elements, the system equipment, system name, okay, and other stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to generate a layout. Okay, so I'm I want to automate the layout. 
Okay, so later on, I'm going to show you as well how to do it uh, manually. So for now, I'm going to do it like automatically. So I'm going to select one of the sprinkler that is part of that FP wet zone 2 system. Okay, so I select one of that. And then here from the layout, I'm going to select here generate layout. So let's click this one. Okay, and then as you can see here, automatically Revit will show us here a preview of the layout that will be created if we finish creating the layout. The blue line here, the blue lines, that represents the main pipe, okay? The green lines, it represents the branch pipe that's connected to the main pipe, okay? So... I'm going to select settings here just, just to check the settings of the pipes that will be created. So I'm going to select here settings. And then here on the main uh, uh, main uh, main pipe parameters that I have here. So I have the pipe type and then the offset. So I'm going to make sure that the fire protection wet system here is selected, which is already selected. And then the offset is uh, 9 feet. So that means this offset elevation places the pipe, the main pipe at 9 feet above your current level. So currently we are on level 2. So from level 2, our pipe, the height is 9 feet from level 2. Okay. And then let's check as well our branch pipe. So let's go to branch again. Just making sure that the value here is fire protection wet. And then same offset. Okay. So I'll just select here, OK, after checking the settings. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place here the base. So it's like just the, the riser or the source or an outlet for the flow. So I'm going to select here, place base. And then after that, I'm going to place it somewhere here. So I want to place the riser somewhere here. OK, so I'm going to place it there. And then I want to change the size of my riser. So instead of 6 inches, I'll just do that uh, 2 inches. Okay, so 2 inches. And then the offset here, so I'm going to type minus 12 feet. Okay. So that means when the layout is finished, these settings will convert the base component or our riser to a 2 inches riser that extends from the bottom of level 1 up to the connection with the level 2 sprinklers, which is uh, 9 feet. Okay, so after I set up my uh, base here, so I'm going to select here solution. So let's select here solution. And then here from the solution type, I can see that the default solution here is network, which has 6 solution. Okay, so one out of six. So you can use the arrow here to cycle for you to be able to see the solution that Revit offers for that particular uh, system, you see? Okay, and then not only network, it also has other two solution type, which is perimeter. Perimeter has five. Okay, and then um, intersections. Alright, but for this one, I'm going to select here network and then I'll be using uh, the FIP solution. So I'll be using 5 of 6 like that. Okay, and then let's say what I want to do is I want to move the main pipe somewhere here. Okay, so I want to move that out. Okay, the main pipe, the blue line somewhere here. So to do that, I can select your edit layout. So after you select the solution that you want, so let's go to edit layout. And then you can see my pointer here. It has like a lens. So I'm going to select this pipe here. Actually, I can select this one as well or this one. So it doesn't matter. They are all connected. So let's say I'm going to select this pipe here. And then you see that move icon. So I'm going to hold my left click and then drag that up. I'm going to place it somewhere here. There you go. Okay. And then after that, time to finish. So let's select your finish layout. There you have it. So I just created now my piping layout. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select my project browser 
and then I'll select 3D fire protection here. Let's double click that. And then let's zoom in here. There you go. Okay. So another technique, if you want to be focused on that layout, so you can use uh, window selection to select those uh, pipes. And then after that, you can use filter. Oh, no need to select filter, but you just need to go to the view panel and then select selection box. So it will isolate that selected element. There you go. So it's now isolated, so you can now view your model. Okay, so right now it's showing gray for the architectural model. Okay, so let us change the properties here. So from the discipline, I'll change this from mechanical to coordination. So we can see the other discipline as well. There you go. So I have the architectural. So you can see our fire protection system there. So maybe I'm going to select this um, selection box. And then I'll just move this down to crop. I want to see the top portion. There you go. Okay, let's move this up like that. Okay. So, there you have it. Okay, so that's how we create it uh, automatically. Okay, so our wet fire protection system. So that's it for this uh, video. So hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.